Hey, welcome to part four of our C Sharp course. In this part of the course, we're going to work with some more enterprise features. So first of all, we're going to work with the N-Log framework. So that way we can track our errors and different events in our program and put them to a log file. So this is more enterprise because people are interested in working on the efficiency of your application. Now we're also going to work with WCF, which is Windows Communication Foundation. This means that we're going to create REST APIs. You've probably seen REST APIs in the form of JSON data that is provided to you from uh, third-party services. And so this is a, a rather advanced topic for introduction to programming. Now we've got also action filters. So an action filter will prevent certain things from happening, such as unauthorized access to a web page. And so you can check to see if a user is logged in or if they are a certain privilege level before you allow them to do an activity. We're also going to focus in on data caching, which may be necessary if your website is experiencing high workloads and you might be able to help out with a few things such as data caching. We're also going to serialize objects. So serialization means that you can take a complex set of data and put it into a string. In our case, we're going to save a string into the database, which will save the state of a game. And that way you can resume the game very quickly after you start the program again. We're also going to look at dependency injection. So dependency injection is a way to include one part of a program in another section, such as you have a database and you want that service to be provided to other pages on your, on your website. Now, how do you do that without strongly coupling those two services together? So in the future, you might change your database from a production to a test environment, or you might change to a, a web service instead of a local database. So dependency injection allows looser coupling between services and an application. And so all of these subjects here are more advanced, and so we'll call them enterprise features. And they're all coming up right now.